Chattanooga has seen a 150% increase in pedestrians hit and killed by vehicles over this time last year. Cornelia Nicholson is downtown with more. Cornelia. Well, David City, Chattanooga has a walk score of 29 out of 100. That's according to walkscore.com. Now that means that Chattanooga is a car dependent city and not very pedestrian friendly. Now one local resident I talked to said he wants to change that. We want local events. We want to bring in music festivals and, uh, and sporting events, and we want people to love our downtown, but at the same time, we prioritize four lanes of traffic bumped up right against one of our most pedestrianized streets in the city. The Chattanooga Police Department says year to date, there have been 166 pedestrians struck by cars. 15 were fatal. Those numbers are up from this time last year, where 115 were struck and six were fatal. John John Wesolowski is a local urbanist passionate about pedestrian and cyclist safety in Chattanooga. Last year was the worst year in the last 10 years for pedestrians hit by cars. The only difference between this year and last year is more people are dying. When it comes to Chattanooga having a walking score of 29, he says while it's a shocking number, he's not surprised. According to data he's seen on chatdata.org. 17 pedestrians and cyclists have been hit by motor vehicles in the last five years along Cherokee and Fraser Avenue. Uh, I have a friend whose neighbor was hit just this year crossing the street and broke both of her legs. A crash killed two people here this weekend. They shut down the sidewalk and gave no alternate route for pedestrians except that they're supposed to cross the street. Practically, that didn't work. I saw dozens of people stepping out into the street. He says he alerted an officer and the police department responded by closing off the lane and putting barrels out so people could walk safely. Back in October, we spoke with the Chattanooga Police Department about pedestrian safety and the 15 fatalities so far this year. The sad part is, is that out of those uh, 15 that we've had, almost every one of those has been the pedestrian's fault. We've only had one pedestrian that was struck in a crosswalk. All the rest of them had been where the pedestrian was was not in a crosswalk. Now, that wasn't the case for the Fraser Avenue accident where the pedestrians were standing on the sidewalk. But Wesolowski says making the area safer for pedestrians in general should be the solution for the city of Chattanooga. Each trip you and I take starts and ends with us as pedestrians. Make a city better for pedestrians. You'll make it better for everyone. Now, Weskolowski says the city should step up and take a look at the needs in the community and really improve the infrastructure for pedestrians. Now, we did reach out to the city and we'll let you know when we get a response back from them. Live in downtown Chattanooga, Cornelia Nicholson, Local 3 News.